Hellos, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is now Vanita. I am no longer Deary. Today I'll be doing a lot recommendation video. I've seen these around my YouTube recommendations a lot and you guys know that I don't build so I feel very qualified for today's video. All of the lots I'm showcasing today are in Tilmering so enjoy. <laughs> This is the first lot in Tumarang. This is the Night City Apartments by Machine Girl. I absolutely love this lot so much. It comes fully furnished. I'm going to start on the left side right here. So in the left side, this is the only livable room. And I just love how it's furnished and decorated with a lot of personality. It definitely gives me mafia vibes. Like this is where a mobster would live. And then downstairs is a shared space, which is also connected to upstairs. So these Sims, if they lived here, they can go downstairs and cook and do whatever they need to do so this is what the downstairs basement looking area looks like there's this cool little debug van here this workstation which i think is really cool one of my sims was just making something i have no idea what this thing right here is super cool it like pulses i don't know what it is but it's so cool and then we have a robot that we cannot use but i'm gonna figure out how to use it because i think that'll be super cool and this is the kitchen area it's very like futuristic giving me cyberpunk vibes and this is the single bathroom which is kind of disgusting but it gives it personality so this is the overview it's really cute really spacious this is where they can hang out and do whatever they gotta do now on the right side has three apartments my favorite part of this whole area is like this cute little arcade room this is where the arcade looks like it's so cute i just love how it's decorated and over here is this pretty little mirror in a sink with neon mirror from i think this is from high school years i love this mirror and then we have a bathroom back here where your sims can do their business in a janitor's closet over here is the boba station so your sims can come down here and grab some boba and then this is like the staff room and if your sims are chit chatting they can talk here and hang out in this area which is super cute it's such a vibe i swear and then outside is like a bar area my sims come out here to grill and make drinks all the time this is just one big shared space so it's super cute and functional this is the second floor it is a two bedroom apartment what i like about this one is how it is all also decorated and this is like very grunge very cyberpunk i like how each room has a computer so this is the first room it's giving messy it's giving grunge and over here is the bathroom with a laundry and a washer machine and they also have one of those talking toilets which i have no idea why but i think it's super cool i also like how it is very cluttered this is the living room which is very messy very cool oh i didn't know they had a piano but they do this is the second bedroom they have this music production board and a laptop over here and i love this door i love the lights on it this is so cute and then last but not least is the kitchen which is very simple and not messy which is surprising and this is the table which i'm pretty sure i'm missing some packs for because i'm sure it's supposed to have chairs but i don't see any this is the second apartment layout and i'm pretty sure i am missing some packs for this apartment i could be wrong but it is very empty so there's not really much to show other than the living room and a tv the bed is on the floor with graffiti on the wall i'm pretty sure i added this in so my sim wouldn't be bored by himself he also has a washer and dryer machine in the bathroom this is the kitchen and it has a big old stain on the floor which is kind of disgusting and this is the third apartment with a shared space out here with the bubble blower the third apartment is definitely the cleanest apartment i would say the kitchen takes up majority of the space which is kind of crazy i guess this is the living room with the double couch and i love that the the TV is right here in front of this chair. That's so cute. Just realized the washing machine is right here holding a bunch of condiments the bathroom is super cute it's very modern this whole apartment up here is very modern especially the bed they have a pod bed are you kidding me very modern very cute i know the sim who lives up here is actually the same vibe as this apartment like they give bougie at the very tippy top is an observatory is i think that's how you say it where sims can watch the stars in the skies so this is the night city market and i love this build so much This 
This is the second apartment build. This is Tamarang City Apartments by A Simza04. This apartment has three units, so let's go through all of them. So I'm going to start with the very obvious. Each unit has some type of balcony or porch. So this one has one out in the front. The second apartment has a balcony out on the side in the back. And so this is the third one. This is more like a porch area, which is super cute. Starting at the very top, this is where my main sim Amina lives. I did slightly redecorate this one, but it's still basically the same layout so this is the living room it's really cute really pink i love the tv and i love this heart chair the kitchen is also really cute and really simple as well and then she has her own bathroom and i love this little like counter space by the window i think this is really cute and really unique this is her bedroom i did change the bed um not really my favorite because i changed it around so but it is a really cute bed what i like about each apartment is probably the hallway area to get up to each room each unit has a unique little hallway area and i love that what i like about this apartment is that first of all whoever lives here is definitely a cat owner with the cat tower and the cat little dangly thing and next to the living room is the kitchen which i think is super spacious and cozy as well and this is also the bedroom this whole apartment on the second floor is super cozy and very aesthetically pleasing the bedroom does remind me of a resort low-key but i think it's super cute and then they have a tv that they can watch and chill at next is the bathroom and the bathroom is super cute with the little litter box on the floor and this is a hallway area which is also super cozy as well so last but not least is the last unit on the floor this one is a very family friendly unit this is also probably my favorite unit because it's so big and so spacious first of all i love how this living room is decorated it is decorated very nicely like someone has lived in it i feel like the fairy lights also tie it together it's so cute and the colors match so well i love the kitchen the kitchen is so cute and look at it i love these chairs this is so cute this is the bedroom the bedroom is cute super cozy very mom vibes and then the bathroom is my favorite the double sink and the clutter is just top tier and i love how there's this archway to the bathtub i think that's such a unique touch and then at the very back of the lot is the dumpster and this game that i don't think adults can play which is really weird but it's cute that is it for the lot i love how there's bikes too i don't let my sims use bikes they try to ride the bike instead of walking and it's really annoying and i love the touch of the front door of the package and this disgusting like plastic chair it's so cute This is the third apartment called Tomering Apartments. Yes, apartment. It's by Create for Sims. These are family apartments. So this is a two-story apartment with two units. The outside has a lot of clutter, like a street kind of. I like that there's two trash cans in a garbage bin. And we have the little tuk-tuk card that I really like. So outside we have a pool and some beach chairs and just an overall nice little hangout spot for the guests. And then this wall over here is a garden. And then if you go up the stairs there's more gardening tools so this is the first unit i would say both units are very colorful so when you walk in there's a bench and a coat rack next to this room is a small bathroom and then we have the dinner table and next to the dinner table is the living room with the tv i really like these like pillow table things these are so cute and then this is the kitchen and i've never seen this cow print trash can i need one in real life and there's another bathroom right next to the living room and next to the living room is the children's room which is super adorable i like this floating desk right here this is so cute and then they have a bed a bear a tv and a little rocket ship which is super adorable i love this room so much and this is like the parents room which is super cute i don't have a sim living here yet i am working on it this room is super adorable really comfortable upstairs is the second unit i want to start with the balcony which has more plants on the wall which is super cute when your sim comes in they enter the living room first and then this is the kitchen and you can see the toddler is sitting in its little high chair and this is the kitchen which is very cute and simple and then next to the kitchen is one bathroom super small but it's really cute as well and then on the other side you have the main bedroom and my sim is just here playing video games there's also a upstairs to the second unit so the second unit has the baby's bedroom which is also really adorable i love it and then there's a bathroom and then outside it has a little mini playground and a bike. This 
is the last residential lot that I have inside of my world. This is a family home and I think it's super cute in that it fits Tomarang really well. This house has about six bedrooms, I believe. And I currently have the Sadeas and the Lin family living in this household. It's the perfect family home and they are a really big family. So starting with the outside, the outside is beautiful. I love that it's like a gated community. I also like the touch of the two cars and a garage. And then coming through the front door is a bathroom on the left and the stairs on the right. What I also love about this lot is the laundry room. I think houses should include a laundry room more often. And then straight ahead is the kitchen and dining area. And the kitchen is so cute. I love how the colors contrast each other really well. And then outside has another dining area, which is really cute. And then there is a single bedroom downstairs as well. And the back garden has cute little seating area. And I love the attention to detail in the backyard. It's so cute. And upstairs is a little hallway and another bedroom, which I feel like this is like a cute little guest room and you have a full bathroom next to the guest room you don't have any kids or they have one kid but they don't have any babies and this would be the toddler's room which is really cute and there's another full bathroom i would say right around the corner and i'm missing the wallpaper but this would be like the second living room i think like the second entertainment room which is super cute and this is the last floor this is a three-story house this is another bedroom and i love the attention to detail and i like how there's mail and files up here next to the room is a child's bedroom which i already assigned her bed because i was like this is your room this is screams her it's so cute and purple i love purple i'll say this is like the master bedroom because there's an actual bathroom connected to this room so far everyone else has to share a bathroom but this room is super big and spacious and once again i am missing the wallpaper but it's okay and this is a huge bathroom with a double sink and double mirror it's so cute i didn't even show you but the floor tiles is probably my favorite thing about this house i feel like everywhere it just matches each room really nicely and there's like this balcony area where you can look down at it's really lovely it's really nice i like how this house has been made and i didn't even realize there's doors so if they come up here they can go through each door and that is it for this super big family home This is the Screaming Gek. This is a restaurant and the only restaurant that I have inside of my world. Screaming Gek is a very beautiful, very culturally well made, if you know what I mean. I think it's cute that it can be a restaurant or you can sit outside and have a cute little lunch date. I don't really know what to show. This is the inside of the first floor. Everything is so cohesive and pretty. And then over here is the chef's kitchen, which they keep taking off their shoes. I'm not sure if they're supposed to do that, but they do it anyways. And then outside is a nice little like hangout spot in an area with a vending machine this is the second floor and i feel like the second floor is definitely a spot where you would have lunch or someone i can't forget the bathrooms because i really like how the bathrooms look and i am obsessed with these sinks they're so cute and then outside is where the bar is where your sims can chill and drink and they can just mix and mingle and i really love this area this is a mix of a restaurant and i really like the community and culture aspect that has been added to it and that is the screaming get So this is a national park and it is one of my favorite lots. This is just a very cute park where your sims can come and hang out and go on a date with. There's also my favorite area is probably the movie area because I just love the movie blanket setup. And you can host a little movie hangout in a grill and chill with your sims. It's a super cute lot and it's one of my favorites like I said. And couples come here to do the cloud gazing all the time which is really cute. For the next two lots I'm not going to do anything cinematic because these are really small simple lots. So this is a recreation room and to me that basically means a lot where your sims can level up their skills or just a cute little hangout spot um i believe this lot is originally made by little simsy and then another simmer decided to do their own little twist on it so this lot is made by spooksy this lot is super cute there is a gym on one side a cute little hangout area where amina and jude are talking outside there is a playground for the kids but look at these adults on the playground like just living there inner child right now and then upstairs is like a cute little like study room and this is where your sims can level up their skills with a piano singing and a guitar there is also a full bathroom with a shower and everything so if your sim is dirty they can just clean up real quick and then outside is a painting easel so for me if you're tired of staying at your sims house or something they can just come here and level up their skills as needed it's just cute and a nice way to get out of the house this is the second lot this is a tobering thrifty by spooksy again this is probably the cutest most yellow 
a lot ever i love boba tea shops they're my favorite because people who make boba tea shops make them so good and so cute so coming in is you have a bunch of plastic chairs that are very orange yellow i don't know but it's really cute and it's well decorated over here is the actual boba side of the boba machine and that little boba guy here and there's also outside seating area this is also a thrifty shop but upstairs has all the thrifting items which is super cute and over here it looks like little trinkets and things that you can buy and there is the more outside outside seating on this little balcony porch thing and that is it for this lot <laughs> Okay, so this is definitely my favorite lot out of all of the lots I've showed you guys. This lot has almost everything you can probably imagine. This is a full community marketplace. This lot is Tomarang's Floating Market. This lot is by Gloomy Dahlia. And I just, I am so obsessed with this lot. It is so well made. But let's start with the floating market. I don't think your sims can interact with this. But it, this is about what's around the market, okay? It's about what's around this market. This lot is categorized as a lounge. But there is a bunch of different like container rooms with a bunch of cool stuff in it so let's go through each and every one of them so starting on the left side this is a cute little trinket shop which your sims can come through here and look at all the goodies and buy this expands out so there's also like vinyls and instruments here too and some goldfish over here that's so cute and just more things that your sims can take purchase of there's more things for sale over here on this little bridge that your sim can walk across of or go upstairs but we'll sh i'll show upstairs later on this side over here is a cute little eating area where sims can purchase food and sit down and eat next to this area is another shop where paintings paintings are really good and i just realized it's because of my mod these paintings are so cute your sims can buy some paintings or some portraits and over here is like a little thrifty where your sims can also go thrifting find some unique artifacts now upstairs on the second floor are more shops as well this one is more like a furniture shop which is really cute and unique i love that the chairs are hanging off of a shelf that is such a good touch this over here where jude is sitting and eating is a like cafeteria lunchroom so if you're tired of shopping you can sit down and enjoy a meal and then there's also another restaurant right connected to over here so if they wanted to eat here they can or if they just wanted a quick little snack they can go where jude is and have a quick little snack break over across the bridge is more eating areas as well and then back on the left side is bathrooms and a pet store which is so cute i am definitely probably gonna get a hamster the pet store is so adorable and last but not least another cafeteria where your sims can eat at this one has a balcony eating area as well which is super cute i love this lot so much so that is it once i'm done placing more lots in my saves file i'll definitely record more recommendations for you guys if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye